Jeremy Hunt visits the World Economic Forum in Davos today, making him the first UK Chancellor to attend the summit in five years. Hunt says he's there to tell the world that Britain, a nation of great innovation, is on the up and open for business. But Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves, who's also at the Davos Jolly, says Labour is the only way to restore the UK's business reputation. Well, join me now to discuss this is GB News' economics and business editor Liam Halligan with On The Money. Liam, welcome to the show. Hi, Always Martin. a pleasure. The annual Davos Jolly is up and running. The well-heeled, the rich and the famous flock to Switzerland. Is it a Beano or is there any point to it? <laughs> a Beano. When I write about Davos, I often call it a gab fest because it's a, it's a talking shop of the global great and the good. Politicians like to be seen there. Tech titans like to be seen there. I've often characterised it as millionaires watching billionaires up on stage. Um, <laughs> Davos is a, is a mountain village in Switzerland, as you say, a very exclusive ski resort, uh, the kind of place that uh, royalty go skiing. Uh, and for many years, the World Economic Forum, um, I wouldn't call them opaque, but it's difficult to sort of find out lots and lots about them. It's a kind of... Uh, it's a talking shop. It's a, it's a summit. It's a private sector organisation, but they've managed over many years to generate such an air of exclusivity that lots of people want to go there to see and be seen. But look, Jeremy Hunt, there he is. He has turned up at Davos. Um, it's, not, it's usually the British Prime Minister that goes to Davos, but Sunak isn't there. We'll come on to that. David Cameron's there. Jeremy Hunt talked about artificial intelligence. He said, and this will concern some people, that he said our artificial t intelligence should, quote, be very lightly regulated. Artificial intelligence, of course, is the whole area of computers thinking and making decisions for themselves. It's used in finance. It's used to generate those chat GBT uh, videos, deep fake videos and so on. It's used to in medicine to build vaccines. There are very good uses of artificial intelligence and used appropriately, it could really boost economic productivity and wealth across the world. But there are dangers. But I thought the most interesting thing that was said today came from uh, at, at the Davos summit, came from Rachel Reeves, the shadow chancellor. She told the world's great and the good uh, that Labour is, quote, relaxed about wealth creation, sounding a bit like Pina Mandelson back in the day. She said that Labour wants to, quote, reward success. She floated the idea, last posited by someone called Liz Truss, that the tax on the top rate of tax in this country, the 45% rate for people that own over 100 grand plus, that should be lowered under Labour, which is a complete reversal of what many people would think. She said Labour is now the low tax party again trying to appeal to international investors and on the side to Middle England, if you like. But Keir Starmer was also there. He was making the point that while he was there, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak wasn't. And this is what he had to say. I think our Prime Minister should have showed up at <laughs> Davos. Right. I absolutely do. Um, and one of the things that's been, um, you know, impressed on me since I've been here is the absence of the United Kingdom. And that's why it's really important that um, I'm here and that our Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves is here as a statement of intent that should there be a change of government, and I hope there will be, um, the United Kingdom will play its part on the global stage in a way I think it probably hasn't in recent years. Liam, um, underlining the otherworldly um, dissociation from reality that we see at Davos. Look at this video on screen here of what appears to be an Amazonian tribal leader performing some sort of bizarre ritual. I don't know why. Why should I? You know, it's funny, Liam, only a few years ago they were wearing full surgical face masks for COVID. Now some tribeswoman is blowing in their face on stage. Indeed, and I, I noticed that too, Martin. And Elon Musk, of course, the Tesla founder, the 
mogul that bought Twitter and which is now X. He actually took to Twitter to make fun, not of that um, Amazonian tribal leader for one minute, but he, he used it to make fun of Davos itself, the kind of weirdness of having all these incredibly wealthy people asking an indigenous American, if you like, to come to Davos to give them some kind of spiritual guidance. He actually very cheekily said, ah, Elizabeth Warren is in <laughs> Davos. Now, who's Elizabeth Warren? Elizabeth Warren is a Democrat in America, a former presidential candidate who made the claim that she was, uh, I think it was one eighth Native American in order to sort of appeal to um, a certain branch of the American electorate. It turned out that she wasn't Native American at all. And so Donald Trump christened her <laughs> Pocahontas, of course, um, the name of the cartoon character, the young female Native American, uh, so beloved, at least by my children when they were kids. So look, it's all fun and games. Um, Davos likes to take itself extremely seriously, the people that go there. And I've actually been there in the past in another life. I guess that ship sailed now. <laughs> um, they like to take themselves very seriously. And of course, it's human nature to poke fun at that if you haven't actually been invited. But Keir Starmer's there. Rishi Sunak isn't. Maybe Rishi Sunak thinks that that's better given what he's going through in the House of Commons. Super. Thank you, Liam Halligan. The weird world of Davos.